here's something that you may not always hear that I've learned. Uh, there is a myth to lead generation. Um, lead generation is no longer trying to find leads. Lead generation is building relationships. It is relationship generation. It is trust generation. Um, I had this amazing guy. Um, he was in an old, uh, an old folks home or an assisted living home. Uh, we were selling his house because his uh, his kids were scared of him living there alone, and so he's in this old, uh, he's in this old folks community, um, half against his will. wasn't really wasn't really that into being there, but the moment I walked in, I shook his hand. He walked up in his walker, shook his hand, and he looks at me. He's like, "Let's go get a cup of coffee." And so we walked down the the you know the the ramp down into the cafeteria uh, of this assisted living place. Um, I paid my dollar twenty-five for a cup of coffee, um, and we sat down. And the very first thing Harry does is he whips out a business card, and he passes it to me. Find out Harry's a stockbroker from way back, and Harry today is still hawking stocks. And I looked at this guy, and I was like, "What an amazing business owner!" Uh, he's eighty-four years old. He's got more spunk today uh, in his walker then I would suggest most business owners do about generating business. Um, Harry and I sat there and had an amazing conversation. I found out this house that pretty much already had the listing, um, Harry built. He was the first house on the block. There was nothing around me, it was Harry in a field. Um, he could tell me the builder, um, he could tell me why he chose carpets instead of hardwood. P.S. the carpets were still in there today. Um, but more importantly, Harry and I just sat down and we talked business. And we talked about this. I asked him, you know, tell me about the stock market. What you've seen a lot of things over your days. Um, and Harry and I had the most unbelievable conversation about stocks. So in the end, I was there for almost two hours. Um, there was no, you know, hey, can I sell your house? Hey, how do I close on the sale? There's none of that. Um, we simply just signed the paperwork. And as we stood up, Harry started walking with his walker. I followed right behind him, he turned around, and he looked at me and he said, it's nice to see someone who looked him in the eye as opposed to just seeing someone over the internet. There's some things the internet won't, just won't show you. And I know it's such an old thing to say, I'm in my mid-30s, mid I've grown up with the internet. An internet lead is bought and you have exactly what you just paid for. You have something that costs you a fortune that doesn't actually provide to you the stability and success you want. Sit down with Harry for two hours. Learn about stocks. Hey, you learn something amazing. I found some great stock tips from Harry. Um, but in the end, we're getting his home sold. And we're getting it sold in a way that's very enjoyable for me and for Harry. That's the lead generation myth. This is no longer a lead gen business. This is a relationship business. Your business will be solely dependent on the value of the relationships you carry. If you carry very shallow purchased relationships, then what you're gonna have is very, a very shallow purchased business. So where do you spend your marketing money? Where do you spend the money to invest? How much should you spend? A great rule of thumb is take 5% of your gross revenue, put it back into some sort of marketing. Where should you market? In anything that develops a relationship. Um, you can start a relationship through a Facebook ad. However, your purpose of that Facebook ad is to sell a house or is it to develop a relationship. Um, if you're going to, uh, how we spend our money on our team, we spend our money on things that allow us to deepen our relationship with our customers and clients, our, our existing ones, and we then garner and develop their referrals. We spend money on fun little things that we drop on their doorsteps. We spend money on impactful things. Um, you know, there is, I just had a, so we had a client of ours that was having a hard time renting on her property, and we sent our photographer over there to get great photos of her rental property for her to post online. That's how we spend our marketing dollars, serving our customers and deepening our relationships. That is the start of a great, very successful business.